dealing with a dealing with being a fitness trainer in a very in in a very all bodies are beautiful type world um that's that's a good point um i think that movement is not is not good that's cancel culture i think which, that yeah. i think that mentality is is horrible we're we're in my opinion we're promoting obesity we're yeah, promoting right. uh cardiovascular disease we're promoting pulmonary heart disease um it, it, it's not good like it's it got to a point where we're we're putting obese women on Sports Illustrated, on ESPN, yeah. on like on the cover of magazines. Like, yeah, we could push the political aspect of all lives matter. Yes, yeah, ex, ex, yeah. But to the point where we're just going to like idolize someone who's extremely obese or overweight and say, you know what, this is the model for an athletic sports magazine is is insane and i think that's a crime i mean brian think about it like we're promoting obesity think about it. seven years ago didn't adele get a lot of shit for her weight and she went purposely to lose weight and she still got grief for it while we glorify someone like lizzo who that's not a thyroid condition like lizzo is someone who is clinically obese and she gets glorified and put on this pedestal and again she's a great singer i'm not arguing her talent but the idea that we should say well okay this is okay. And again, I'm not trying to fat shame anybody. Bill Maher had a really good point about the United States is the leader in the in the world in obesity. Okay. If anything, COVID taught us right early on is that if you suffer from obesity, you were probably the most predisposed to either get COVID and or die from COVID. Yeah. Secondly, the idea that listen, maybe going to the gym isn't accessible to everybody. Maybe everyone's, you know, cardiovascular system is different. Again, this Maybe people have a thyroid. That's that's these are all things that's, you have to consider. That's irrelevant. irrelevant. You, should, you should still be hitting the gym. Exactly. You should still be productive and try to get healthy, eat yeah. healthy. Yeah. But the problem is that you know the idea. I I did a, a segment on this last year where I got tons of vitriol, where I talked about the Victoria's Secret models, where the idea that they were doing away with the fashion show, which to me breaks my heart because every December I love that shit on CBS. <laughs> it was like the second Tuesday of December. I'll never forget that. I should I put that shit on my calendar. <laughs> but I remember like looking at the fact that like we're supposed to be glorifying, you know, heavy set models in Victoria's Secret or the or or the famous Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. One thing is thick, bro. And I get for me, like that, that that's not really my thing. Like that, listen, and that's my thing. That's fine. Like yeah. don't don't think I'm hating on exactly, heavier yeah, yeah. women. But like no. we're the thing is we're we're promoting like cardiovascular disease, we're promoting pulmonary Diabe heart disease. Diabetes, we're promoting, we're promoting heart disease. diabetes. Like it's it's we're promoting tendon damage, joint damage. Like, we're promoting unhealthiness, man. And, and to me, again, it's like you and, we, and we don't put men, overweight men, on those magazines. Cause what's gonna happen? Men and a woman are gonna shame that that poor, poor guy that's in the cover photo, exactly. but because she's a woman and and she's overweight, they're like, oh, you go, girl. No, you know, love yourself, right, etc. I'm, I'm sorry. You can love yourself, but you, but there has to be a sum of responsibility right. and some accountability. And I think the idea that, oh, well, if you're doing this, Fernando, because I was accused, I I got tons of comments on my episode I did. Oh, you're fat shaming. What? Do you have six pack abs? I'm like, no, but I'm relatively healthy. I make it a point to be somewhat healthy. You should have shared your body fat percentage. What's that? Your BMI. <laughs> you know what? I, you know? I, don't, I don't know it, but but no, but 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 the point is, that what really bothers me is the idea. It goes back to cancel culture. Why can't we just say? In that regard, something that is obvious. We're not vilifying someone. We're not body shaming someone. We're not fat shaming. It's not healthy. Right. In what world, what clinician, what medical physician will tell you that someone like Lizzo is living a healthy lifestyle? Mm. Nobody will tell you that. Unless there's some, listen, unless there's some condition I don't know about, then I apologize. Then I'll feel bad and say, you know what? I'll walk that back. But chances are that when we're looking at magazines and we're looking at heavy set women, and we're supposed to glorify this? Brian, that's absurd. Right. You're literally telling women, I get it. Is bulimia and eating disorder still a problem in this country? Absolutely. Data tells us that. Mm. But it doesn't mean that now, hey, just go. When you go to Chipotle, get that extra order because it doesn't matter because we're not going to shame you. Exactly. That's a bad message. Yeah, too. no.